Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today I'm using a Micron 05 pen, a Zen Tangle brand graphite pencil for shading, and a Tortillon for blending. Feel free to use whatever materials you have on hand. I'm also using a two inch by two inch Zentangle brand tile called a Bijou tile. So I'm working very small today. All right, I'm gonna start by picking up my pencil and putting a dot in each of the four corners. And then connecting those dots to create a little frame. All right, and today we're going to work with a heart shape. So I'm gonna make my heart go across the paper this way. So I'm gonna start my heart, um, you know, I'm gonna to go to this top left corner and come down, not quite to the middle, but part way down. And I'm using my pencil in case I don't love the shape and want to fix it. But I'm gonna push my heart out and make it pretty big, going right over that frame and play with it a little bit figure out exactly how you want that to look again taking up most of the tile and then in the center i'm going to put a smaller one like that all right I think I've got that about how I want it to look. I'm gonna to switch to my pen <clears throat> and I'm gonna ink in that heart. So I'm just going to find the one that I liked and I'm going to trace that like that and do the smaller heart. And then we're going to tangle inside this heart today. Instead of choosing one tangle, I'm actually doing several of my favorites. Feel free to use any tangles that you love and want to use to fill this space. I'm gonna start with Crescent Moon. And Crescent Moon is a half of a circle, colored in, and then Aurad. And Aura means you go around it. And I'm actually going to go around it two times. Not for any special reason, but just because I like it. And my next one I'm going to make coming off the corner. It doesn't matter where this one comes. I don't like mine to look too organized by having them all lined up just perfectly. So I like to scatter them or make them come off of each other. Do one right there. And maybe another one down here. All right, I'm going to stick one more in here. Just like that. And that's probably enough for now. Another favorite of mine is Henna Drum. And Henna Drum starts out like Crescent Moon. I'm going to put one right over here. Starts with that half circle, inking it in, adding one aura. And then the petals of this come out. I kind of like to make a bit of a sunshine ray. And then add these little bumps or waves. And I like where it's bumping into that middle heart. The center of each of these has a long line. 
and I'm going to add a dot on top and also a couple little flicks towards the bottom. And with henna drum, I like to aura the outside. So I'm going to do that. All right, the next one I want to do is flux. And flux is a series of little upside down teardrops. And I'm going to make mine on a bit of a, like a vine today. So I'm going to just put a curve in there somewhere. And I'm going to start at the bottom and make these little teardrop shapes. And they just sort of go up this vine on both sides. And you can do large ones, little ones, there's no rules. And they have a little line and a dot inside. And I'm going to aura that one also the best that I can. Just following around that outside shape wherever it works. I've got some space down here. I'm going to add another one. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to add some mucha. So mucha comes up and does a big round curve and stops just before you get back to the start of the curve. And then it comes down. I meant to make that longer, but it kind of got short. I'll do another one up here. And they can bump into each other. They can go behind each other. It's just a pretty shape to add to any tangle. I've got room for maybe a little baby sized one right here. They're so cute. And I like adding a little bit of a reflection on them. In this tiny space, we've already fit four different tangles. All right, two more I'm going to do. One is Printomp and one is Tipple. So Printomp is that spiral shape. Some call it like a cinnamon roll. I don't have a lot of room left, but if in my big spaces, I do want to put a couple of those. So right here, I'm imagining this large circle and then this spiral happening. And this one I'm actually going to start from the center and I'm going to spiral outward, picking up my pen wherever I go behind another tangle. I think that's the only room I have for two of those print up. So to fill in all of these extra little spaces, and yours is going to look different than mine, if you've got room for more spirals, put them in. Um, otherwise, I'm going to fill the rest of my areas with tipple. So right down here, I've got a little spot left. I'm just going to put two circles in there. Right here, I've got an area between my crescent moon and my flux. Gonna put a couple circles in there. And then I'm going to put some ink around the outside of those just to fill in those extra little spaces. Up here in the corner, I like to make take the biggest area first and put the largest circle in that I can. And then fill in with the smaller ones. This is a great filler on any tangles that you do. I've got a big spot here for one. 
and I'm going to fill in the extra space with ink. And I've got some room over here. And inking in those areas in between. I've got three spots in these mucha, so I'm going to add a couple there, and there, and there. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're just filling space, enjoying that feel of our pen on paper. And then adding a little bit of ink in those extra spaces. Now right here, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got some extra space there. Instead of putting tipple, I'm going to aura one of these two spirals just to make it look like that spiral continued. So I'm going to aura this one just by going like that. And it filled that space and didn't need anything else. Okay. It looks a little flat right now, but when we put our pencil and graphite on it, it's going to look amazing. All right, I'm going to ink in my frame. Just starting at that first corner, going across, lifting my pen up when I hit the heart. Actually, I've got a little bit up here in the corner. And down on the bottom. And down that way. And I'm going to add an aura to this frame. And I'm not worried at all about making a straight line or the same thickness. Nobody cares. This is just for you, for fun. Okay. At the bottom of this heart, I'm going to add... couple little spirals just because I've got some space and then I'm going to pick up my pencil and do some shading so step back a little bit take a peek see if there's anything you need to fill in we can erase those pencil lines later all right and for shading I love shading this one because it turns out so cool I'm going to put graphite up along the inside edge of this heart and I'm putting it down pretty heavy and on these small tangles I try not to do so much shading but for this one it really benefits from it and I'm pointing my pencil towards that edge so that I get it snug right up against it all the way around. Turning my tile as I go. I put it in really dark. And then I'm gonna do the outside of this heart. Just like that. And then I'm also going to add a tiny bit to the outside edge of this frame. Very light. Just like that. And then I'm using a Zentangle brand Tortillon for blending. You can use a Q-tip, the corner of a tissue, whatever you have around. I'm going to start with the outside edge and I'm softening it and pulling it out towards the end of my tile. Let it's dark by the frame and then gets lighter as it goes out. All right. For the heart, I'm going to use little circular motions. 
and I'm just spreading that towards the middle, softening that line that I made. I'm going to go all the way around and do that. Don't push too hard on the inked areas like the um, crescent moon because it could push that ink out a little bit too. All right, and I'm going to do circular motions around the inside heart. And my goal is that I have the darkest areas against the edge and then getting lighter towards the middle. And what that does is make it look like a poofy little heart. That's it. Initial your work. On the back, date your work, write your name, and do a little journal entry of something on your heart today. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy.